This is the story of two people close to me. Slow down, hold on, take a breath. The story starts off quite tragic, but without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. Something in my brain causes stress. So come and make me feel different. Hey, where are you going? I'm leaving. Things just aren't the same anymore. What? What do you mean you're leaving? I want a divorce. I've already packed my bags and I'm ready to go. Hurry up before we miss our flight. I don't want us to be late. Coming, babe. Make sure you take care of the kids while I'm gone. I'm glad you left her, babe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> He left me. Mommy, are you okay? Crystal, get me here. What, Leah? I'm playing with toys. Mommy, what's wrong? Don't worry, guys. Mommy's gonna be all right. We're gonna get through this. On the means of this matter, I grant Chris and Zari Davis split custody of their children. The means of child support. With Zari's financial division right now, Chris has owed her nothing in custody for children's support. I finalized his divorce. Court adjourned. Good luck. Yes, I've been waiting on this for so long. I'm rich. I'm rich. What? No, that's not fair. Congrats, babe. You thought you was going to get all my money? Wrong. Come on, honey. <laughs> Mom? Well, a little birdie in town, a little girl at the church, she told me that my baby needs some help here. Yeah, Mom, things are getting really tough around here. I really do need your help. Well, I'm kind of glad to hear that. Let me come on in and get you something to eat, baby. What you want? You want your favorite? Yeah, Mom, go ahead and make them good old ribs. Well, the way they met was actually quite funny. Oh, hey kids, I'm your new neighbor, Brandy. Hey, mister, can we get in your pool? Sure, I don't see why not. Come on over. Mom, where's the kids? You're supposed to be watching them. Hold on, baby. I'm gonna talk to you later. Yo, kids, is there anybody in here? Uh, hello. How can I help you? Um, I know this is weird to ask, but have you seen my kids? Um, do you live next door to me? I mean, I had some neighbor's kids who wanted to swim in my pool in my backyard um i think those are my kids and you just letting random kids in your backyard well i didn't see any problem with it for real but my name is brandy i'm your new neighbor well it's okay for such a nice looking man like you this is my daughter zari are you just gonna introduce me for him because i did now be quiet all right you can follow me to the backyard hey so i noticed you have a ring on your fingers so i was wondering if you'd like to grab a cup of coffee sometime oh Wow, um, sure, I'd love to. Okay, it's a day. I'll see you at eight, I guess. After a time of struggle with the divorce, and of course with the help of Jima and the kids, she met him. They had a great time. They went on dates, roller skating, Ferris wheel rides. It was for sure true love. And eventually... He even proposed. Excuse me, everyone. Can I have your attention, please, in the restaurant? Um, Brandon, what's going on? So, sorry, we've been dating for a while now, and I love you and your kids dearly. And I was wondering if you'd like to spend the rest of your life with me. Oh, my gosh. Brandon, are you serious right now? Yes, of course I'll marry you. She said yes, everyone. She said yes. <laughs> Yet this wasn't the end of surprises. Brandon, here, open this present. A baby rattle. She was even pregnant. What does this mean? Come on now, think about it. Wait, OMG, a baby? Does that mean I'm gonna be a dad? Yeah, I just hope you're not mad or anything like that. What? Of course not. I love you and your kids. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna be a dad. Through doctor visits with the twins. Oh, and it's twins. Twins? Even to a gender reveal. They're both boys! There was always happy times. They were even more amazed with twin boys. Oh my gosh, are we really having boys? 
Oh my gosh, we're having a boy. Not even one boy, we're having two. Oh, this is crazy. I know, this is crazy. Are you sure you're gonna be able to handle two kids? I don't know, but we can get through this together. I can't wait to start a family. Together, the possibilities were endless. Now let's get to the present day. 2023, summer. Hey, Dad, how are you? What's up, kiddos? What happened to your hair? What you mean, what happened to my hair? I grew it out a little. Your hair looks like a bird's nest. Uh, it does not look like a bird nest, Callie. That's why you had that afro look and your hair messed up by Jean. Uh-huh, that's why you got braids now. I paid for them, too. How was New York? It's pretty nice over here, y'all. I mean, I've been vacationing, but it's really late, and uh, I'm not good on my sleep schedule. Is there pizza rats in the subway? Dad, can you bring me some food back? You know mom don't feed us. What y'all up in here doing? We're on the phone with Brandon. Oh, you are? Oh, hey, Brandon. Hey, babe. Okay, y'all, let me just talk to him for a second. How about y'all go check up on Gmail for me? Okay, mother. Okay. Hey, um, what time is it over there? Um, right now, it's about 7 or 8. Oh, it's pretty late. Are you gonna go to bed soon? I mean, I'm gonna try. You know, my sleep schedule is really messed up. Isn't it like 12 or 1 for you right now? You getting ready for the baby shower and stuff? Yeah, I'm sad you're not gonna be there. Yeah, I'm sad too, but I should be back home around the same time tomorrow. Alright, get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, love you. See ya. Uh, let me hurry up finish this work so I can get a cold shower and take my butt to bed. All right, let me finish packing because my flight leaves early tomorrow. All right, that should be it for the night. You had me right under your thumb every day. Persuading me in every single way. I was found in your life. This place better look nice. I put all my hard earned money into this. You spent all this money on this baby child on this girl down the light. It's not about Zari, it's about the kids. Who cares about Zari? And I know you ain't talking about us spending my money when you the reason I'm half broke now. You mean our money is just not yours? Oh, whatever. Uh, these folks got me out here working in the hot sun. I just don't understand it. Who is this party for anyways? Let me open this. Jade and Jason Ellison. Oh, um, I hope they don't got no cameras out here. Jade, this place is beautiful, don't you think? Uh, I guess it's nice. Hard earned money, well spent. Hey, uh, I think that's the guy that put this whole thing together. I'm gonna give him a tip. You coming too? Yeah. Hey, sir. We just want to thank you for putting in all your precious time to put this thing together. My daughter-in-law is going to love it. Daughter-in-law? We moving too fast. Huh, girl, just get with it. They having twins. Next is marriage. Like, we could just start calling her our daughter-in-law. What's the problem? Uh, anyways, the place is done. Okay, well, it looks great. Um, Here goes your tip. And thank you so much. Yeah, she better love it. Spending all my money. All right, well, my work is done. Y'all have a good day or whatever, because y'all seem like y'all need it. Thank you. I haven't seen my sister in a while. I haven't seen none of them in a while, really. I wonder how I'm gonna tell them I got evicted. Hey, old man, you forgot my money. Oh, get my gloopy gloss and go. Wow, I can smell the food already. Oh, this place is nice. God be the glory, baby. Look at this corn, this buttery, nice sweet corn. Ooh, everybody gonna love it. I got my macaroni, my ribs, my corn, a little bit of collard greens too, to make up for whatever they got. I know they got some pop salad or whatever. Anyway, when these kids coming up, come get this food. Oh, God be the glory. Look both ways. Oh, where are these kids? Oh, I hear a knock right now. 
Come on in, babies. Hey, Gma. Gma, what song is your hair? Oh my God, that's not Gma. That's Caillou. This is me. Y'all ain't never seen my wig off. Auntie Zowie's ready to go. Okay, then, babies, go ahead and grab the food. Now nah, we can head out, but I gotta go put on my wig. Okay, Gma. Okay, Gma. What you wear so? All right, y'all. I'm ready to go. Ooh, this food smells good. What y'all packed? Oh, I packed a lot of food. We got ribs, macaroni, corn, poly. What you packed in that bag? What? Oh, this this is my hospital bag. I don't know, but I just feel like I need it today. Oh, uh, I don't know why, but okay. I guess put it in the car. Let's go. Oh, oh, hey, y'all. Oh, my God. What you trying to say? What's up? What's up? Hold on. Let me put my ribs down for you, B. I don't know who you think you talking to right now. I know you're not coming up in my face like that. And what's finna be up is you if you keep messing with my sister. Gene, you still be using that Afro gel. <gasps> and do you still be using your man for money? Mom, can you stop? This is my baby shower. You know what? I'm gonna let your ghetto ratchet ugly tail go for a minute because my baby tell me to. You know I will get ratchet on you today. Girl, be quiet. You still be your hair stuck together. Mm, power of Jesus condemns you. <laughs> Okay, everyone, gather around, gather around. It is officially gift opening time, so meet us over there in the tent over the lake so we can open up all these baby shower gifts. First of Here's our gifts. You know the best because money buys everything, so here you and go. And we ain't broke like some of y'all people in this line. Oh, these are one of them talking lines with the heartbeats and stuff. Thank you. This is nice. You're welcome. It was like $10,000. Hey, cousin oh. Zari. I thought I would, you know, pop out and bring you a gift. Because hey, it's just a little something sweet for the baby boy. Not too much, oh. not too little. Um, is this an egg or something? Girl, shake it. You always got jokes. Let me see. Oh, it's a rattle. Oh, thank you. It's nice. You're very welcome, cousin. Love you. Love you too, cuz. Hello, Madam Zayri. I am on <laughs> Brendan's side of the family. I am his fifth cousin. You already know. Duke Christian Celine Dior, the Ellison the fifth. And I am your cousin, but here's your gift right here. Oh, thank you, Duke. Um, uh, yes, pacifier? you probably will need two, but um, you especially need one for your big mouth, uh, mama, oh. and you, of course, because it looks like you Hit even boy, too what? much. Duke, don't make me kick you up out of here. Anyways, who's next? <sighs> here's Ari. Thank you, Miss Miss J. I, I put I put my last dimes and quarters into that gift. This was literally the last amount of my money, like literally. Um, here you go, sorry. Oh, uh, thank you, Uncle Bobby. This is heavy, though. What is this? If it breaks, it's just not my gift, but right now it's mine. Here you go. Oh, okay. Thank you, Uncle Bobby. All right, so I got you this. It's not much, but I hope it is perfect for you and Brandon. Oh, thank you. Let me see what this is. Is this that new babysitting service I heard about? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. One month free? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I thought it'd be perfect. Thank you so much, Blue. I really needed this. Move out the way. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. My move. You are so pregnant like you're about to pop. I know. I feel like I am. <sighs> well, um, I have a gift for you if you want to get up on your feet real quick. Um, sure. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I really hope it's a car, you know, because I really needed one, you know. I got something even better for you. Oh, now, really? A high five. A high five? You yeah, I bought, the, I bought the place. That's the biggest gift ever. <laughs> Like you forgot one of these oh ugly presents. Oh, I forgot about that. This old lady gave that to me. Old lady? Who 
old lady gave this to you. You didn't see her? She's at the front of the gate and everything, touching my stomach to my son. So you think you're having two boys? Well, you're not. Who does she think she is? Sounds weird to me. I hope they ain't one of them Illuminati, luminous people trying to get you to join. Anyway, a present is a present, so go ahead and open it up. Socks? Pink socks? What? What does this mean? Pink socks. Now, who on God's green earth gave her pink socks? My baby deserved more than that. Now, whoever knew this, they knew I wanted a girl, and they still tease me. I bet it's that witch in the back, Jake. Which one of y'all did this? What did you say about me? I said, I bet it's you who did this to my baby and me. Oh, you What's up? And your hair look raggy and stank. That's why your glasses are too small. Mom, can y'all please stop? Please. Oh, my, oh my gosh. I, I, I think my water just broke. Uh, I cannot go to sleep. Something just feels off. Huh. Let me get a glass of water. Uh, maybe this will calm my nerves down. Uh, who's this at my door? It's some 2.15 in the morning. Hey, sugar. Uh-uh, ain't no way. It's 2 in the morning. I'm hallucinating. Ma'am. Do I know you? Is this real? Are you having a hard time sleeping? Um, yeah, but how would you know that? Just don't go to sleep tonight. Guess what happens when folks like to start experimenting with stuff? Mm -mm -mm. How do I work this for? Oh, where's the button for? Is this, is this on me? Hello, Brandon? Hello. Is this Gene? Hey, hey, yes, it's me. Yeah, what's up? Can you hear me? Can, yeah. I, can I, I, hello? Can you hello, hear me? Hello, Gene, what? Oh, oh okay. Uh, the twins, tw twins, yes. The twins? He's here. Yes, he is here. here. She's in love. Okay, I'm coming home. Okay, okay. Party over. Bye. Mom, what about the kids? Where are they going to go? Don't worry about the kids. Me and Jay will take them home. Just, Gene, please get them, get her safe to the hospital. We will? Yes, we will. What are you talking about, woman? Let's go, Christian, Leah, and Callie. We finna go. We're going back to the house. Oh, is everybody in the car? Yeah. Yes, I need to go poop. Okay, we finna make it home. We finna go home. My mom gonna be okay. Bobby, I'm gonna call you later, okay? Okay, tell me if you need anything. I'll be okay. at the motel. Okay, bye, Uncle Bobby. Oh, gee, okay. I hope she's okay. Oh, gee, I need to get out of my stuff. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. Oh, gee, I hope my kids are okay. Okay, Brandon, calm down. First thing you need to do is just call Tatsy. Hello, is this a taxi company? Yes, it is. All right, I need Tatsy right now. Hurry up, please. Can you send over your location? Okay, yes. I'm at the LaRoy's Resort in New York. Oh, okay, um, I am already have your location set on my map, and I'll be right on my way. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me grab my bag and change to some clothes real quick. Yes, yes, a very important person. I'm not the husband. Okay, and I'm going to tell y'all something now. If y'all let my daughter out, we is going to have a problem. Wait, what? Dad, Mom, what are you talking about? Y'all always let black folks die up in there. You can bet your horse foot toe shoe we is gonna be there. And I better not get no shenanigans or slackness. Bye. Mom, what are you talking about black folks be dying? What? Oh, shut up! Honestly, Mom, I'm not gonna lie. This pregnancy does seem off. Something is off about it. Well, you done had kids before. You gonna be just fine. I don't know. Something's not right, and it just feels weird. I know I had kids before, but this just don't feel normal. And also, what happened to your hair? It's hot up in here. I had to let it down. And since you don't believe me, just hurry up and take me to the hospital. I need to go. Oh, okay. Hey, you call for a taxi. Yes, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, and you know I taught your feed to get inside the car. Man, man, to heck with that fee. I need to get to the hospital right now. My fee you, No, hope, no. Wait a minute now. You gonna pay me the fee or you not getting in? How about I knock them glasses outside your head and then we worry about the fee when we get to the hospital? Mm, you got some nerves, young man. I got a lawyer and he don't play. You know what? I really don't care. That's why I'm gonna be driving all the roads with all the traffic in. Okay, so I'm gonna oh. take your heartbeat. I'm oh. gonna need you to okay. take deep breaths. Okay, I'm trying. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe in. Take this water real quick. It will help you. Okay. You, you sure it's going to help me? Yes. You don't have to drink all of it. Just take <sighs> small sips. Small okay. sips. Okay. Okay. I think I'm calming down a little bit. Okay. Let's check your heartbeat. Okay. It's doing really good. Okay. The baby okay. seems to look fine. The heartbeat seems to look fine. Now, let's go ahead and check your temperature just to make sure. Okay. 95. That is that is good. That is good. You better not do nothing to make my daughter mad or something. I can assure you she's going to be in good hands. Now, let me go get Dr. Rosalie because she should be here any second. 
I hope that nurse ain't did nothing to you now. You good? No, something is wrong. Something just feels off. I'm here, and Labor Day has arrived. Oh, hey, hey, Doc. Hi, Zari. I see Labor Day has finally came. Yeah, it has, but something's just not right. Hey, I don't believe her. She being dramatic. Well, it's always good to start the patients, but right now I believe she's what? just having stress, so... I'm telling y'all, something is wrong. Ma'am, you're just going through pregnancy. Do you need any <sighs> aspirin oh my gosh. or... No, I don't need no aspirin. I just had water. I, something is wrong. Y'all need to listen to me. Ma'am... This is just something that commonly occurs. Listen to the doctor, Zari. What you listen to once? Oh, Sally Joe is down the road dying. Hold on, I'm gonna have to be right back. Oh my gosh, this hospital is so ghetto. Why ain't you believing me? I just think you being dramatic. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Mom, how you gonna tell me? <gasps> Zari? Zari, don't do this to me right now. Don't play any games with me like this. Zari, are you there? Zari, Zari. Sorry, don't play with me like this. Oh, not my only good daughter. Kalees in jail. Oh, I should have listened to her. <laughs> Doctors. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> my baby. Your baby what, ma'am? <laughs> who, who are you in talking the about? Room. What room number? No, what, my daughter. Sorry, she was supposed to be here to give birth at the number? line. Can you Ma'am, slow down. We can't. She's like dead. <laughs> ma'am, slow down. Room number, please. I don't know. It's the one right there. <laughs> room three. Where, okay. ma'am? Slow down. Right. I think it's this one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my baby God. Okay, ER now. Hurry up, hurry up, okay, hurry okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. Right, we need oh, to get that okay, out of okay. the oh, um, Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to get out of the way. Hurry up. Ma'am, please on, back up. up. Come on, come on. Oh, my baby. Let me see my baby. Ma'am, please step away. We're going to do everything to be clean to save her. <laughs> ma'am, I have to get her? through. Why are you taking her? Take her to room 405. Will do. <laughs> my baby. Oh, uh, why is there traffic? Why is it not moving? Um, have you ever drove in a car before or even been on the road? This is traffic, my man. Look around. Okay, but you do realize the amount of time that is wasted, you won't be getting money for it. I need my money and I need it by right now. <sighs> I'll travel by fee if I have to. Go ahead. <laughs> that is all my fault. <laughs> Everything gonna be just fine. <laughs> Who are you? Don't worry about it. It's you. I remember you. Who do you think that you are? To come in my face and walk away. It's probably you who did this. Curse you. Uh, Miss Jean? Um, are you okay? Did you not just see her? What lady? The, the lady? The, the old lady with the hat, the black hat? Did you not see her? Your daughter's doing fine now. She's out of the operation room. She passed out due to high levels of stress, but you can come see her now. Really? My baby's fine? Sure is. Come on. Hi, welcome to New York International Airport at Charles de Gaulle. My name is Nika. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Hello, sir or ma'am. Uh, I really need a flight to Blossburg ASAP. I'm sorry, what? I think you can see what I am. So because of that, I'm now going to need you to give me five minutes for you to ask your question, okay? Uh, of course you're not, ma'am. I'm sorry, sir. But what do you mean, wait five minutes? I need to get on a flight now. All the flights to Blossburg are booked right now. And also, from what you just said... No, sir. I, I cannot do that. I'm sorry. Listen, ma'am, I'm sorry about all that stuff, but I really need to get to Blossburg. My fiance's in labor, and I really need to get there. I'll do anything. Sir, are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> sir, I'm, I'm married. So I, if you're trying to seduce me, it's not working. The answer is still no. As I said before, I have a fiance who is in labor and I need to go see her now. So can we please, like, I'll just pay anything. That's what I meant, like. Uh, pay? Well, you didn't mention pay. <laughs> well, we have that one expensive seat in first class for $5,000.99. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. Like, that's your yearly salary anyways. Here you go, sir. Here's your ticket. Uh, thank you. All right. Oh, 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 
Where you think you go, homeboy? Um, I have a flight to get to, so if you excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. Who you think you are? You won't just walk to my airport like that. I gotta scan you down. Well, and I'm supposed to walk through here? Well, here at New York Airport, I gotta scan you down first, so come on in. Listen, man, I got places to be and people to see, so if you can't move out my way, you feel me, Ty B? Well, if you don't allow me to scan you down, you gonna be seeing people and places to see in jail. Let me plug my walkie. Code 1991, we got a person not complying. Can we call airport police? Look, man, you ain't gotta do all that. You can check me. I'm not trying to be defiant or anything. All right, man. Let me go ahead and check you out then. Okay, you free to walk past. One oh one now boarding in Flossburg. Okay, Miss Jean, she's right in here. Come on. Oh my sorry. Hey mom, how are you? I'm good, baby. How are you? You know, I'm good, but I tried to tell you, you know? I'm so sorry, baby. Can you forget me? He did pretty well in the surgery, but let's talk about the twins. Wait, is there something wrong? Due to the high levels of stress that you just endured, you're not going to be able to deliver the twins naturally. Wait, what? Doc, what are you saying? Well, due to the circumstances, you're going to have to do a cesarean section. A C-section. A C-section? I heard from Cheryl that ain't good. No, please don't worry. It's just a procedure that we undergo for certain pregnancies if there's complications or just personal reasons where the baby is out from the abdomen from a surgical procedure. Um, Doc, what does that mean? Basically, we cut you open. What? Um, Doc, um, I, I don't know if I want that. Well, currently that's the only option on the table. But I'll give you a moment to, you know, take a time. Not because they're my friend calling me, but I'm going to give you a moment. I mean, you only got one option, so it shouldn't take you too long. Mom, uh, I, I don't know if I could do this, especially with Brandon out here. I don't think I could do this. Zari, let me tell you a story. Zari, let me tell you a story about your great, great, great grandmama, Sarah Lee. Sarah was a hard worker. She worked for ages and night, and her husband left her. She had no other option. She was pregnant with quadruplets. It was a hard time, and the doctors told her she had to do a C-section. She was scared. But that Davis blood, that beat any blood alive. We have strong blood, Zari. And just like Sarah, Sarah Lee Jane, you can do it too, baby. Mom, I don't know. I'm scared. And will you be there with me? Well, you can bet your shoe I'm going to be there. I'm being next to my baby for my grandbabies. Okay, now let me go tell that doctor you ready. I hear talking about some taxes. Ugh, I can't believe how much I paid for this flight. But at least I'm in first class, though. Ladies and gentlemen, flight TA-01 heading into Blocksburg is now a cruising. We will have flight attendants walking around with refreshments. You may now use your electronics. Hello, sir. Welcome on board. Can I get 20 refreshments today? Yeah, and I'm expecting this to be free for how much I paid for this flight. I would like a pina colada. All right, here you go, sir. Oh, it's pretty all right. Thanks, anyways. You're welcome. Have a good flight. Oh, those are the kids calling me. Uh, hey, kiddos. How are y'all doing? Um, she's in the hospital. I'm not really sure. I'm on my way back right now. Dean is with her, but, um... How's my mom and dad taking care of y'all? Uh, okay, y'all can sit through a few more hours. I'll, I'll, I'll be back soon. Dear Lord, as my baby's about to enter this surgery, I pray for safe delivery. Let my grandbabies come out healthy and in good condition, Lord. And my daughter even safer and healthier. OMG, OMG. Okay, I need to get the floor too. In your precious name, I pray. <laughs> There's Jean. Amen. <gasps> Oh, Dean. Oh, Brandon, I'm so happy you made it. Uh-huh. I just ran across. Okay, here you go. I saved um the surgery clothes for you. Oh, what's what's that? Uh, is she all right? If I call the doctor, they basically deliver baby by cutting her stomach open. Oh, that must be why she's in the OR. Okay, let me head in. <sighs> Good luck. Lord, you heard my prayer. You might feel a bit of pain. Okay, ma'am. Have you taken it? Yes, I've taken it. Okay, can you count to ten for me? Okay, um, one, two, three, four. I don't know if it's this medicine they got me taking or... Brandon, is that you? Yeah, it's me, honey. You finally made it. Mm-hmm. You safe. Go ahead. Close your eyes. How do I work this FaceTime thing? I hate these phones nowadays. These make me so mad. Let me see this. Where's Bob contact? Oh, it's not... 
Hello? Hello? Hey, Bob, everybody. Who did, who, who did? It's me. It's me, dumb is Gene. Oh, oh, okay. Now we'll... Everybody around. Hey, Christian, Leah, my grandbaby, Callie. Oh, Khalees, you here too, girl? Oh, that prison let you use the phone. Oh, okay. All right. I hope y'all could hear me. Okay, I'm about to show y'all the babies now. Y'all ready? Okay, come on, come on. Come on now, hurry up. Put the baby, come on, hurry up. I'm going as fast as I can, Bob. Come on, Look, the camera. It's Look okay. The camera. I can't hey, see the baby. It's okay. All I gotta Look do is tell from a jig. Oh, okay. Look, can you see Look that? Look the camera. Oh, you FaceTime. Zari, say hi, everybody. Hey, show everybody hey, the new baby. Hey, y'all. Wait, is that a FaceTime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all oh, small grand hey, baby. Hey, hey, Christian. Hey, Callie. Khalees, is that you, girl? Oh, they gotta have a phone, I guess. Well, y'all, this is twin A. Look at him. Ain't he cute, y'all? Don't forget about us now. Oh, hey, Brandon. How's my baby doing? She's yeah. doing fine. I think she missed her brother. Y'all see y'all other one? Yeah, y'all. Funny story. So, uh, we thought we was having twin boys, but the doctor got it wrong again. It was a boy and a girl. Oh, Lord. Yeah. This hospital is just so ghetto. Zari, I told you we should have just went back to z -Field. I know, but at least they got here safe. Uh, I guess. Hello? Can y'all oh. still... You know what? I'm gonna just call y'all later. Let me go see my wait, grandbabies. Wait. Look Look at him. Look at him. So cute. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, let me show you. I told them everything will be just fine. Oh, and by the way, I'm the precious new baby girl. And this story is how I was born. Finally, I'm getting no fuss. Finally, be riding on my way. Finally, woke up with some luck in the buck. I don't give a up with someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say.